Hello and welcome to the Cottage Cuts YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am crafting with the Nordic Santa and Reindeer die set as well as the Wintry Village die set from the latest Christmas release and I've already assembled my Santa and Reindeer. If you want to see the full assembly, pop on over to my channel LV Handcrafted and you can check out that um, part of the process over there. I did this time around, instead of die cutting out of different solid color cardstock, I did die cut out of white and then colored it in. So just something a little bit different from how I normally play with the Cottage Cuts dies. And what I will show in this video though is um, my inky background. So I have some Distress Oxides here. I've got um, Blueprint Sketch, which is the lighter blue, and then Chipped Sapphire is the darker blue. I did bring out Black Soot just in case I wanted to darken the edges a little bit more, but I decided in the end not to use it. And I saw an inspiration photo of a night wintry sky that had a bit of pink, but just off to the corner. It wasn't um, like below the horizon line, so I thought I might try that. And my two shades of pink are Tattered Rose and Worn Lipstick. And so I um, am going to go over where the two meet with a little bit more of the blueprint sketch. And I did also kind of um, go for a little bit of a streaky effect of the blue right in that pink area. It gives you a really nice um, kind of purple tone as well. So that will be my night sky. And I've inked this directly onto my USA2 card base. And I'm using the uptake tube of my um, water spritzer <laughs> to splatter on some distilled water. Because the oxide ink is a water reactive ink, that water lifts the ink and so you get this watermarking effect and it kind of looks a little bit like snowfall and I wish I actually had um, maybe even splattered on a little bit of um, white paint too, just to just to get some bright white along with um, this look as well. So that's also a, a really nice effect um, that I've done in the past, but for whatever reason forgot to do on this card. And this die cut here is the Wintry Village, which is really, really lovely. It doesn't quite stretch the entire five and a half inches of a USA 2 size uh, landscape card, but it does stretch most of that. And it's nice and rounded, you know, on the ends. So it's almost like a hill. But because I don't want my night sky to be seen through the buildings, I'm taking a moment to back all of the buildings that have windows die cut out of them with a little bit of yellow cardstock to suggest that the lights are on inside. There are also these little uh, street lamps which also have a bit of opening right at the top there where the light would be and you could back those with some solid color cardstock as well but they are pretty darn small so you'll see in a moment what I end up doing is just putting a little nouveau drop right in those lamp areas and that seemed to work pretty well. So one uh, of the advantages of um, die cutting your uh, pieces out of white cardstock that's been lined with double-sided adhesive is you basically have a sticker that you can then place. I'm still adding a couple of drops of liquid adhesive just to make sure this is a really firm stick because I did touch a little bit of the um, the backs of these. So they've probably lost a little bit of um, their tackiness. So that's why I did dot on a little bit of liquid adhesive, but um, it's definitely really nice to um, to sort of die cut everything out of white cardstock, line it with double-sided adhesive tape, and then the assembly 
comes together really quickly because then you don't have to worry uh, about applying glue to these small little pieces because there's essentially glue. Um, they are essentially stickers. And as I was removing the uh, die cut of the reins, I I broke <laughs> I broke part of it. So, but that's okay because once you get it glued down, you can hardly notice. And then I had to snip a part of it as well because of the order that I assembled everything in. For it to look logical, like Santa is holding the reins, you um you want to make sure that part of it is actually behind that front gloved hand of his. And here's how uh, the Nouveau drops look in the street lamps. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. And you could even put some glow in the dark um, Nouveau drops in there as well, which I think would be cool, kind of cool as well, because then your card would glow um, when it's uh, dark out. So here's a look at my final card. I decided to leave the sentiment off, but um, I think the scene is just so lovely. I, I couldn't bear to put a sentiment on it. So if you caught my video last, uh, my last video, check the description box below to see if you are a winner of the die set that Cottage Cuts was giving away. In this video, we'll be giving away the Nordic Santa and Reindeer die set. So like this video, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and be in for a chance to win the Nordic Santa and Reindeer. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.